what you're going to be shown right here is what is going into you and to your children and you are literally going to become a transhuman under the control of the elements. It's the simplest way I can put it. And this is here. This video is four years old. Can you just imagine what they're doing now? Imagine if there was a way to mass produce tiny robots no bigger than a cell, quickly, easily, and accurately, with little to no external stimulus. Well, a team of engineers at MIT have developed a novel method where they can do just that. Using the naturally occurring fracturing process of atomically thin, brittle materials such as graphene, the researchers are able to design and successfully fabricate small synthetic cells, called syn cells for short, that could eventually be used to monitor conditions inside an oil or gas pipeline or search out disease while floating through the bloodstream. Through the bloodstream. While floating through the bloodstream. The novel process called auto-perforation allows for engineers to control the natural fracture lines in a material, directing the lines so that they produce exactly what the engineer desires. In this case, the end result are minuscule pockets of predictable size and shape, containing electrical circuits and materials that can collect, record, and output data. That can collect, record, and output data. To build these syn cells, first, a layer of graphene is laid down on a surface. Then, tiny dots of a polymer material containing the electronics for the devices. Containing the electronics for the devices. devices containing the electronics for the devices are deposited by a microarray printer. Apart from the syn cells' potential uses for industrial or biomedical monitoring, or biomedical monitoring, or biomedical monitoring, the researchers say that the way the tiny devices are made is itself an innovation with great potential. This general procedure of using controlled fracture as a production method could potentially be used with any 2D material, essentially opening up a whole new toolkit for micro and nano fabrication.